Well, howdy again. How's it going? Another uh, fine May day here, my friend. So uh, let's have a little discussion, shall we? I thank you for uh, the change of scenery in the last video. I thought that it was uh, fantastic to see other people speaking as to your question. And it was reassuring to me to see that in the last 15 years or so, college really hasn't changed all that much. Uh, there will always be some guy willing to stick their face directly in front of the camera. But it was good. It was nice to see. It was interesting to see the diversity of perspectives on offer. Here's the thing. Uh, you had asked about radio and how the timelines get drawn, right? Like, how do we establish what classic rock is or those kinds of things? And you express some, some, some unease about the fact that certain music that you felt like was too close to you in time was being called classic rock or oldies. And that is just an aspect of growing up. I think, because I've been living that particular dream for at least the last 15 years of my life. Uh, here's the rule. I think that this is the basic rule in radio station programming, and I won't. I was never on a, on a professional radio station, so I can't really speak to uh, the logic that goes into it, but I think that the rule is 20 years. So anything that is outside of 20 years is going to be a uh, fair game for a classic rock station, which is why you're hearing early 90s music, perhaps, on classic rock stations. But I don't actually think that we really have classic rock stations in that sense anymore. Um, it seems to me like terrestrial radio, and maybe this is one of the problems that I have with it, is kind of lost any sort of cohesiveness to it. So uh, when I listen to whatever radio stations there are around here, I'll hear songs that are totally outside of time sequence played next to each other. So I'll hear something from uh, the mid-90s played up against something from the mid-70s and so on and so forth. And um, that is a jarring experience for me. And I think it's due mostly to the, um, the nature of iPods and shuffle mechanisms and those sorts of things that the more that this goes on um, the more tolerant the audience is to listen to these things but that's just me so that's my take on it and uh, I'm gonna pretty much call it here today because I've got a busy day and I feel pretty strongly that maybe we should be working to keep these things at around five minutes so I'm going to lead by example and limit myself to uh, five minutes so uh, I'll leave you with this I believe that you're home now or you're home soon and I want to know what you're doing with yourself for the summer. So uh, you tell me. And we'll go from there. All right? Uh, P.S. I had a, I had a, a, a three times in a day Kayla Rio sighting uh, the other day, which was so bizarre that uh, both myself and Kayla Rios both mentioned how odd it was to uh, sight each other three times in one single day because I literally go for months without seeing that child. Everything's good. Otherwise, the AP exams are fine, and I'm um, just moving on and looking forward to the, to the winding down. I love the winding down because it means that things are going to come to a close, and then I get a little pause, and then we can start up again, all new and refreshed. All right, my friend. Uh, take it easy. Have a good week, and I will talk to you next week. Later.